Live from KQED News, I'm Natalia Navarro. The Oakland City Council is set to discuss Mayor Libby Schaaf's proposal to increase police staffing this coming week. Violence prevention advocates in Oakland are pushing back, saying it's not the best way to reduce crime. KQED's Guy Marzorati reports. In response to an increase in homicides in Oakland, Schaff wants to hire more officers and reverse hiring freezes. When George Galvis, executive director of Communities United for Restorative Youth Justice, heard the news. Uh, you can't see me physically, but if you could, you'd see my eyes rolling backward. Galvis says the budget approved by the city council in June already gave more money to the Oakland Police Department. So we can't necessarily correlate increased police budgets and increased policing with increased public safety. But that increase was less than Mayor Schaaf originally proposed. Ever since that moment in time, Libby Schaaf has been on a mission, right, to to get the funding that she wants for her police department. Kat Brooks ran against Schaaf for mayor in 2018 and is co-founder of the Anti-Police Terror Project. What's the magic number? How much more do they need? On Tuesday, Oakland's police chief said staffing is down to its lowest level in years. Antoine Towers, chairman of the Oakland Violence Prevention Coalition, says paying for more police and violence prevention programs may feel like an either or. But it's really not. It's all needed. I can help someone feel better, but they also want to know that someone's looking for the person that just killed their child. The city council plans to discuss police staffing at a special meeting next Tuesday. I'm Guy Marzarati, KQED News. In sports, the Warriors lost to the San Antonio Spurs last night, 112 to 107. They play the Orlando Magic tomorrow night. The 49ers are playing the Seattle Seahawks this afternoon in Washington. I'm Natalia Navarro, KQED News.